Hello world! In this video, we will create a simple web application which will predict whether the one appearing in the web camera is with a happy face or an angry face. And eventually, we will get an idea how to create other machine learning programs with ease. So let's begin. So first thing we have to do is to collect the data. I have already collected it for you. So we need to collect some angry faces like this or this. And we have to crop it to a square size. So I already have collected the sample data for angry face and for happy face. In the second step, we will open Google Digital Machine. Open this. So let's get started. And we will select the image project. So the instead of class one, let's give it a different name uh, like angry human face. Angry human face. Okay, and second class we let's give it a name happy human face. Happy human face. Okay. Now all we have to do is provide the sample images here. So let's upload. We can simply uh, drag and drop here angry human face. So the sample, the, the data set we have collected is um, this. <coughs> we will select all and drag and drop here. okay input error okay no worries let's upload the second data set happy human face let's select all and drag and drop here so now we can train the model wait for some time yeah okay so our model is ready so let's try this out oh you will try this later so let's you can we can also tweak the hyperparameters in this advanced section so let's increase the epochs let's give a epoch 100 and bed size let's uh, and again you can train the model okay now let's test this out so Okay, so if you are not happy with this uh, hyperparameters, you can reset it to default like this. Let's by clicking here, you can reset it to default. So epoch is now 50, and you have to train the model again. So it's training. Okay, let's wait for some time. So you can tweak this epoch bed size and learning rate uh, until you get a nice prediction and then you can export the model. So we have to download the model. You can use the shareable link also but we will use the downloaded model. So let's click on download and download the model. 
so I have already downloaded this so I'm not going to download this again you can download this and you can copy this sample snippet sample code snippet if you want so I am not going to co copy this but if you want you can copy and paste it into a text file in your machine okay so next thing we have to do is create a node.js project so for that we'll create a folder here named as uh, let's give it a name uh, emotion detection emotion detection so I already have this emotion detection project I think no no I don't have so let's give it a name emotion detection okay and let's open the terminal here yeah so let's npm in it okay we will create the project name same version okay description no description entry point will create the entry point as server.js server.js okay test command git repository no no okay so it will create a package.json file <coughs> now uh, let's open this in a uh, visual studio code Let's open the package.json so we will need a start command as start yeah and it will be npm node node server dot js okay now let's create this server.js file we will also need a uh, app.js sorry app.js then we will need uh, a folder called static This will be our static folder. Uh, here, our model, our model will be in this folder. It will be the static folder. The model we just download it now. If you click this, you will it will download the model for you. So I have already downloaded this. So this is the model that Google Teachable Machine made it for us, and we have to put this model in this static folder okay so let's put this here okay now we also need to create two more files in the static folder so let's create those one will be predict uh, predict with tfjs dot HTML okay and the other one will be a uh, predict.js predict.js so one thing I just did it wrong these two files need to be in static folder not in this folder okay so let's keep put it here okay that's perfect so in the tn my image model we will have the model dot json and the metadata model metadata dot json and the weights and outside this folder but inside the static folder we will have this html and the javascript code okay let's begin so here let me mention let me mention one thing you can go to this website this post medium this post i'll give the link in the description so in this post i already have explained all the steps one by one 
okay so data collection data collection then this google digital machine then tweaking the hyperparameters so all i all i have already explained everything here so next thing we need to do is create this server.js so i will just copy and paste this i will not give much time so let's copy and paste this yeah okay now let's create this app.js okay, let's paste this here this excel this is the middleware from express which will make this folder static okay our server.js code is done then app.js code is done now let's let's go and build the ui so for ui you remember the code snippet the google digital machine gave this uh, let's use this code we'll just edit a little bit and i already have given the code for you in this medium post so we'll just copy and paste this code from here from here okay let's paste this here and the uh, predict.js is the same code that digital machine gave us we just tweak a little bit and we will also copy this from here i will give the link below you can also copy and paste this codes it will take a long time if i type this all code so let's copy and paste to save time okay okay so our server.js done app.js is done predict is done html is done and we also have our model files here uh, okay let's save this save all next thing we need to do is install express okay so let's install express and pm install express it's going well so now let's start our application let's npm start okay now let's open it in localhost since we have gave the port 8080 so let's open this in localhost localhost 8080 remember you need to space give this slash predict.html predict with html sorry predict with tfjs.html this url because our HTML file in this is in this static static folder and we have passed this root to this middleware so it will serve the files in this folder uh, serve the static files in this folder so let's go to this url and yeah our app is running so let's click on the start and see what is the result okay so so i'm angry <laughs> that's we are happy come on happy yeah it's saying correct so that's angry yeah angry so you can play around and like this you can create uh, more emotions like um, sad or fear you can play this 
So in the next video, we'll learn how to deploy this web application in Heroku. So this is all for this video. Thank you. Hey, if you liked what you have learned, then you can like this video and drop a comment below. And you can also go to the link given in the description and go to this post and <coughs> hit this clap button here to show some support thank you